Today, we are going to explore on a common construction technique in Malaysia, the IBS system. Industrialized building system is a term used in Malaysia for a technique of construction whereby components are manufactured in a controlled environment, either at site or off site, placed and assembled into construction works. The advantages of using this construction method is that it is able to speed up the delivery time and build affordable quality houses while proven to be much cost effective. The case study that we will be researching and discussing today is the Sri Baiduri Apartments. Located in Sri Alam, it is one of the housing apartments newly prefabricated by Satya Prikas. The IBS system is only efficient when there is a certain quantity of the housing units to be built because the factory of the controlled environment is costly to erect. Precast drawing dimensions are produced by the architect and engineer and sent to the precast factory. The factory will then cast the concrete panels and pots in a huge amount with reinforcement. The stainless steel frames of the windows and doors are prefabricated in the steel casting yard and sent to the concrete casting yard to be casted together. Once the concrete panels are ready, the panels are then transported to the site with the use of trucks and lorries. The first step to start an IBS construction system is to lay two layers of masonry bricks along the layout of the load-bearing walls. Once the bricks have been set, hollow core floor panels are placed on top of the bricks to create a ground floor of the structure. After all the floor panels have been placed in position, a layer of cement is spread all over the panels for adhesive purposes and to prevent any leakage. The concrete is reinforced with steel members of 16mm in diameter. The wire mesh is arranged in 200mm vertically and 100mm horizontally. After the floor slabs have been placed, the wall are then placed in their respective positions through the use of cranes. The wall panels are set up piece by piece according to their respective sequence. The walls are then erected from the middle of the unit so that the crane will not bump into any other walls during the setup. The walls are then connected through welding of L-shaped steel plates connectors. Cement is also used to fill the gaps between the floors and the wall panels. For a load-bearing wall, the concrete is of grade 35 with a ratio of 1 to 3 to 5. The staircase is made of precast concrete and is brought to site using truck and lorries. The stairs will then sit on the floor slab of the staircase and weld it into position. Once the floors and walls are assembled, the staircase is lifted up using a crane and placed into position. The roofing of 3 by 3 apartments are still trussed with zinc sheet metal decking. Steel trusses are prefabricated in the steel casting yard and brought to site using lorries. Trusses are then transported by the cranes into its position and bolted into place. Next, the fascia board is placed after the truss has been set, followed by zinc sheet for leakage prevention purposes and a layer of rock wool insulation. Lastly, the corrugated zinc metal sheets are overlaid and axed as a finishing layer. The embodied energy calculation is shown, with the embodied energy for each floor and wall member calculated.
After the calculation of the embodied energy, the zinc metal roofing sheets has the highest embodied energy value. Our proposal is to replace the normal zinc metal plates with blue scope Lysac which has lower embodied energy, reducing the overall embodied energy of the building.